With AMD set to announce new graphics cards so shortly after the release of the NVIDIA RTX 3090, 3080, and 3070, many people are beginning to ask the age-old question, should I wait for AMD? Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So in order to figure out whether or not you should wait for AMD's ARC 6000 GPUs or just buy NVIDIA, well first we need to determine what type of situation you're in, and then we can go into detail on the possible performance of these new GPUs based on leaks and what AMD is telling us. And so the biggest factor in determining whether or not you should wait is always, can my PC performance function and do I actually need to upgrade right now or can I wait? So just to give you an example, if you're someone who you've built a PC and you're just waiting for a new graphics card and you're using Intel integrated graphics or you're just using some sort of really weak discrete graphics card and it's really really hurting your ability to get your work done or play games with your friends and you just I have a hard time waiting any longer because you've been waiting so long already, well, you might be in a situation where it might be better for you to just buy a GPU right now. Because let's be honest, you can wait pretty much forever with technology. You could say, let's wait until RDNA 2, then all of a sudden, okay, let's wait until RTX 3080 Ti comes out, then all of a sudden people are telling you, wait until RTX 4000 comes out, and then, wait a minute, wait till RDNA 3 comes out. I mean, you can wait and wait and wait and wait, but at a certain point, you do have to finally pull the trigger and actually actually build your full PC and you can always go ahead and sell your last graphics card to remake, you know, recoup some of the loss that you had. But, you know, I think this especially um, makes sense for people who are buying an RTX 3080 or RTX 3090 because with those high-end graphics cards, there's just no confirmation from AMD right now that they are going to be actually competing with that level of a graphics card. Now, there have been some leaks and rumors that have been going around for some time pointing to the fact that yes, maybe AMD will be competing or beating an RTX 3080, but this is something we just don't know. So now let's move on to that second example where maybe you have a PC with a graphics card in it that's actually pretty capable right now, but you just have the itch to upgrade, though you're maybe one of those people that you really do like getting the best performance per your dollar. Well, then in that case, if you're someone who's buying maybe a 3070 or even lower, it's probably a really good idea to wait because Honestly, it's always a good idea to wait. You know, when you wait and you have all the information available to you with all the graphics cards out, then you can typically make the better decision. But again, if you wait too long, then all of a sudden there's new stuff out, new stuff out. So you don't want to get trapped in that. But you know, I think we are at a point here where if you're okay with what you have, waiting is a good idea because we are pretty sure, at least I am pretty sure, that AMD is going to come out with a graphics card that is going to be able to compete with the 3070, maybe even beat it. It'll probably have more VRAM and it'll probably be very, very competitive in terms of price. It could be substantially cheaper. We just don't know yet, but that would be my guess. So if you're in that situation, you're considering, you're considering a 3070, you've got maybe a 1070, a 1080, maybe you even have a 2060 and you just want to upgrade, it's probably in your best interest to just wait a little bit longer. So let's say you're still on the fence and you just need a little bit more info. Well, here's what we know so far about Big Navi or the RX 6000 series graphics cards. So based on pictures and benchmarks that have leaked online, I can pretty confidently tell you that there will be an AMD graphics card that's going to come out almost certainly with a 256 bit bus and 16 gigabytes of VRAM. And the benchmarks point to it, you know, roughly competing with something around a 2080 Ti. In the past, there have been benchmarks that leak that show it's a little bit faster than 2080 Ti. And and recently there have been benchmarks that show it competes with 2080 Ti but it's a little bit slower. Now we don't know what level of graphics card this is or if there's going to be something higher but it looks like to me since the 2080 Ti should roughly be in the ballpark of a 3070 that if you're someone who's considering a 3070 again it probably is a good idea to wait. Now if you're someone who's buying a higher SKU graphics card, one thing we don't know about Big Navi is are they hiding one with a 384-bit bus and 80 compute units? Because remember, there have been several leaks in the past pointing to a Big Navi GPU with 80 compute units. And when you do the math, 80 compute units in theory, if it scales perfectly, which let's be honest, graphics cards don't scale perfectly, but if it did, it could actually beat an RTX 3090. So that's something that we just don't know enough information about. There haven't been enough re leaks recently for me to confidently tell you that that's going to happen. So 
while I'd love for that to happen, I can't really go out and tell you, yes, you should definitely wait because AMD has something waiting. I don't know, it's possible, but at this point, I wouldn't be all that surprised if AMD came out and basically only gave us an Xbox Series X GPU, and that would roughly give you around the 3070 performance, probably a little bit higher. They've done stuff like that in the past, and it totally seems like something they would do again. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure like what the incentive is for them to compete in the super high end because realistically in the past, at least in the recent past, when AMD has come out and they've competed with Nvidia's top graphics cards because people kept asking, please AMD save us. We need a top end graphic, a high end graphics card from you so we can have good competition up here. But then people, all they went and did was buy Nvidia when they dropped their prices. So AMD spends all this R&D making high end graphics cards for gamers who claim that they want it. But in reality, you just want it because you want Nvidia to lower their prices. At least that's what the majority of people do. So why would, again, why would they spend all that time and all of that money making a graphics card that let's be honest, probably won't sell that well. They've already spent the R&D making the Xbox Series X GPU, which is a very capable graphics card. If they just unlock that and they hand it to us, it would be you know, very powerful. They could sell it to us for a really reasonable price since they pretty much already have their R&D paid for because honestly, Microsoft and Sony are guaranteed sales. They might as well just give you the full unlock die, unlock the power limit, and you know maybe tweak a few things. And that seems like a more likely scenario to me. So don't be surprised if AMD doesn't end up giving you that huge 80 compute unit big Navi. But you know what, to wrap things up, I gotta say that you know overall, it's probably a good idea in general to wait. You can make the best decision when you can wait. But if you're someone who's looking at like a 3090 type GPU, it might be best for you to just buy it on release. I typically don't say that, but apparently stocks could be somewhat low. We don't know if AMD is going to compete with it, so you could just end up wasting a bunch of time and you have a system sitting around with a really low-end graphics card for God knows maybe months on end because just because AMD is going to be announcing their graphics card on the 28th doesn't mean you'll actually be able to purchase it by then. So it could be a really long time and then at the end of it, you could be disappointed. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that you should wait or do you think that you should just buy now? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.